everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Tamara on my channel we talk about fragrance feminine care you know self-care all that good stuff just ways to stay clean and healthy you know if you're into that type of stuff just make sure you hit the subscribe button the notification bell and make sure you give my video a big thumbs up anyways I'm not gonna ramble I'm gonna get right into this video so in this video I'm gonna go over my February and March um, empties so as you can see I have two Dove um, deep moisture body washes and I also have a Dr. Broner's um, Castell soap um, I use this soap on a daily basis um, let me tell you all about this big one right here let me let me grab this I do not like this like this pump is trash like Dove is too thick for a pump like you have to like tilt it over because like that pump do not be getting like everything that's at the bottom like I swear if it gets like at this level it just stop working like I only got this because for whatever reason like Dove just been sold out so that's the reason why I got it but I do not like it y'all it's trash so I got it and I pretty much used it as a like a refillable well, I use it to refill like these. So I got through it and I just use it to, you know, refill that one. So, but yeah, I use those up. Okay, followed by um, my usual body washes. I also use the Honey Pot for my downstairs area. I love Honey Pot. I prefer the sensitive kind, but Honey Pot is like hot commodity as well. Like it's hard to get your hands on like... If you get honey pot, like you're lucky because like people be buying it up like and this was hard. So that's why you see the normal one in there. Like I'll get it if that's all they got. But I do prefer the sensitive one. Like, I mean, the normal one doesn't do anything to me, but I just like the sensitive one. I don't know. Just preference. But anyways, I use three bottles of these in the month of February and March. Okay, I'm trying to keep like my um empties in some type of sequence i'm trying to keep my washes with the washes and my moisturizers with the moisturizers and i'll keep like my like body sprays with together as well i'm just trying to stay in some type of uh coordinates uh okay so in this one um i'm showing my moisturizers which includes the jergens the original um cherry almond scent um how I feel about it it's okay like it's nothing special um I just feel like with the cherry almond it should smell super sweet and it doesn't it smells very original as it says original scent like I just smell the original uh, original scent like it don't smell like cherry almond okay this Georgia peach y'all I did not use this up this actually went bad actually you know what I did use this up I'm sorry I got the wrong one Georgia Peach, I love. Super sweet, very fruity. I love this fragrance. Um, I think they still have this in the stores, but I love this fragrance. I did use this up. I lied to y'all. Anyways, um, so the next one I have is Cashmere Glow. That actually went bad on me and broke me out, y'all. Like, bad, bad. Like, I was irritated. Um, so, it's actually not empty. It's actually... As you can hear, it's still some product in there. And as you can hear, it's very runny sounding. Like, it just went bad. I've had it for quite some time. This is old. If you are a Bath & Body Works uh, fan like myself, um, you know this is old packaging. Like, it just went bad. Like, so I just put it in this video because I'm throwing it in the garbage with my empties. Okay, as you can see, I use the winter candy apple i cut it in half to try to get as much out as i could y'all as y'all can see it's empty but yeah i love this fragrance like i get this every year i just love winter candy apple it's fun it's i mean it's sweet i just love it like a lot of people don't like this scent i feel like it's one of those ones you either hate it or you love it but yeah i finally finished it and i'm on some use it up stuff so i'm trying to use all my winter scents because my collection is ridiculous y'all so i'm trying to use this stuff up i'm doing a good job so far so please be happy for me oh i forgot to add that i did use up two hand creams this is 
the white pumpkin chai and this one is the sweet cinnamon pumpkin this actually is good and i don't really like those pumpkin scents but i really like this one i enjoy this one a lot i go through hand creams and the travel size body creams really fast because at work i wash my hands a ton so i have to keep like moisturizers around but i use these two up and yeah enjoy them Okay, in this lineup, I have my juice box. I have two juice boxes, actually. This one is just a body spray. My son, he done, like, put a hole in it, y'all. He was playing, and he was having fun, and don't, don't ask, but I already told y'all, but that's what he did. He put a hole in it, but this is actually the body spray. This scent is the extra concentrated kind. Um, it doesn't have the notes on here, but this is by Cosmopolitan. Um, I also have a perfume. Um, this is pure sugar. You can actually find these at Walmart and Ulta. They're really good and I really like this one. I actually picked this up in a body spray because I've already used the perfume. So yeah, I really do like that. I use that up. Oh my God, this is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. I think I have this in every form except for um, the body wash, but no, I probably do got in a body wash. I'm probably lying. But anyways, I love this fragrance. Um, it's very sweet. It's it's very, um, it has like this woozy smell to it, if that's even a thing. But um, I really, really love this. Like I will forever have Sunrise Woods in my collection if they allow me to do it. Because you know how they be having stuff around and then they get rid of it. But I love that. And that's actually just a travel size one. But I use it up and I do have this in a full size because I just love it that much. That's pretty much it. Okay, y'all. So in the next lineup, I have candles. Y'all, I am not a candle girl, but I be trying to be. Like, I just don't feel like candles give me what I want it to give. Like, I love burning wax melts. Like, they just give me more throw than candles. Like... I done bought all kinds of candles. As you can see, I have a few in this video. I actually have more. So I be trying to light candles and give them a chance, but I don't. But anyways, I'm rambling. Okay, this one is actually a Bath & Body Works candle. This is a very old candle. Um, This is Mary Mistletoe. It did not have any throw at all. It was a joke. It did not burn down like I would wanted it to. As you can see, there's still some product down there, but I just burned it because I wanted to use it. Okay, the next candle was actually gifted to me. And this was actually a homemade candle. It was actually like a blueberry scent. I got this for Valentine's Day one year from a special someone. And it actually burned down pretty well. And I don't know if that was because it was like homemade, but... It burned down pretty good, as you can see. Okay, the next one I have is, let me open it up so y'all can see how it burn. The next one I have is Tis the Season. Um, It had a pretty decent throw. It didn't have the best throw, but it had a decent throw. Um, this is how much of it burned down. Um, I wasn't mad at it. It was, it was okay. This was actually the first one I burned. Um, since I was trying to get into like burning candles, like this was the first one I tried out. So this is how much it burned. This is actually a candle that I got from Barnes and Nobles. And I don't know what brand this is. Illum. I think that's what it says. I probably said that all wrong. I can't even open it y'all. I don't know. Cause it's going to make me mad. Okay. It's opening up. Trying to hold the camera and show y'all at the same time. Okay. As you can see, this did not burn well at all. Like, you see the product all on the sides. Like, it was done burning, but it didn't burn everything. Like, look how it did it. Like, this is trash. It actually smells really good. It's really soft. It didn't really have much of a throw. Um, the candle, does it have the price at the bottom? I actually got this for free. I had won a gift card for Barnes and Nobles and I just got a candle and nope there's no yeah 1450 it was trash 
This is actually Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow by Bath & Body Works. This one right here. And this one actually burned pretty well. Um, I the Hold on, y'all. I know I'm always pausing doing stuff. I tried to like take the product out and burn it in one of my wax burners, but it didn't smell so well. So when they done, they done for me. I don't know what y'all do with the wax that's left over, but for me, like, I feel like since they burn so long, like they just smell like burnt wax and I didn't like that smell. So when they done burning like through the wick, I'm done with them. But when this was burning, this actually did pretty good. It had a nice little throw to it. So I actually enjoyed this candle. This is actually a single wick that I got from Bath and Body Works. But yeah, this was a good one overall. So okay, this is actually the last item I have for this video. This is my go-to, the only one. Nobody can do a better arm and hammer toothpaste. I love this toothpaste. I've tried all kinds of toothpastes and this is just the one for me. This is it. I don't think I'm a like try another one. Like I've tried them all. I just love this toothpaste. It just makes my teeth feel so clean. Like it just does it for me. So, yep. But that's it for this video. Like I said on my channel, I talk mainly about fragrances and hygiene products. If you're into that type of stuff, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for my upcoming videos. I will make another video. I'm sorry I don't make videos as often as I should, but this new this YouTube thing is still very new to me. But yeah, y'all, I am out of here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.